Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Rode Wireless Go Lavalier system. Welcome back to the EKD21 Media. My name is Camillo. I'm really sorry there wasn't a video last week. I was in Tokyo in Japan filming for a documentary that we as a production company are going to produce for television. It was crazy hectic, but it was really fun. I'll talk to you about this documentary in a future video. But I use the Rode Wireless Go system quite a lot when I was in Japan and I've been using it for the last few months in various interviews that I've been filming and for a documentary that I had just produced. Check that out up here. So as this channel is about stepping up your video production quality, audio should be on your top priority. Audio is so important as our hearing is one of our most sensitive senses. And so audio can really make or break your videos. Can't stress how important audio is, such that I made a video up here where you can see a few tips that I have on how to get the best audio and how to fix your audio if it turns out a little bit bad. The following are my thoughts on the wireless go system. It's not a full review as you can find any of these online. I just wanted to give you my perspective as somebody who's been using this system for a lot of interviews and for documentary filmmaking. Form factor. There are many lav wireless systems out there but this one struck me as the smallest and the lightest. With a transmitter and a receiver that are no larger than two inches or four and a half centimeters, it really keeps its profile very small and very light as well. As well as that, all the controls that you need are built into the devices, so it was a no brainer for me to get them as somebody who is a very run and gun filmmaker and likes to do things on the go without anything slowing me down. Our production company owns the more expensive and the higher quality Sony lav systems, which are notoriously very good. However, they're much larger, much heavier, and I didn't see them matching my style of filmmaking. I mean, look how small the pouch is with everything in it. In here, I have the connector to the camera, a lav mic, one receiver, a transmitter, and the wind muffler for the inbuilt microphone that this thing has. It definitely reduces how much gear you're taking with you, especially if you're traveling. I mean, I went to Japan and I couldn't have wished for anything better than having these little things come with me and producing very high quality audio for my interview. Functionality. The receiver and the transmitter both have an on and off button and the receiver actually has a pairing button and a decibel controller, which is very useful and they're right next to each other. The pairing button is very useful, but I haven't had to use it ever since my first pairing, making it a ready to go system, which I love. The screen itself is super useful. It's very bright you can see it from wherever you are behind the camera and it shows the battery life of not only the transmitter, but the receiver as well. It's obviously very useful to know where your peaking levels are, especially if you're with a device that doesn't let you see your peaking levels. I know the Canon M50 doesn't show me any audio levels when I'm recording, so this is extremely useful. It also has a dim feature. I can set it so that after a few seconds, the screen dims, saving its battery, which is very good. Sound quality. I do believe that the sound quality for any of these transmitter systems does come down to the lav mic that you're using. The transmitter merely takes the audio from your lav mic and transmits it to your recording device. Although maybe it does do some adjustments, I really think that it does come down to what lav mic you're using. For my interviews that I shot in Japan, I've been using this lav mic. I don't really know where it came from, we just had it in the studio. It seems like quite a relatively cheap lav mic, unlike the ones that the Sony microphones have, because those are very high quality. But even then you get really nice crisp audio. Right now I'm using the Aperture A lav, and that has a very long lavalier cable. I was thinking of getting the Rode lav mic Plus, I think it's called, but you have to have an adapter for it to connect to this as it's made for mobile devices. And having that extra point of failure wasn't something that I was very interested in. So I decided to use this instead and it's worked really well. If I find where I got this lavalier mic from, I'll definitely leave a link below in the description. Nonetheless, here is a test with the microphone. Right now we're using the Aperture A lav, testing the audio one, two, three. I have it very close to me, as you can see there, testing the audio one, two, three. This is a test with the Aperture A lav connected to the Rode Wireless Go system. And as you can see, there's this power brick attached to it. So it's not very practical. And the cable is ridiculously long. I forgot what I said in the last one. I'm just gonna go with one, two, three. This is an audio test, one, two, three. And now we're using the built-in microphone for the Wireless Go system. One, two, three, audio test. One, two, three, audio test. I even kept it in the same position so that it's a reliable test. This is a test with the Wireless Go system and the lav mic that I found and I've been using. This is an audio test, one, two, three, one, two, three, audio test. Let me know what you think. Okay, now we're back to the Aperture A-Lav. It really is up to you what you think of the audio, 
but in my opinion the built-in microphone is it's okay it does a good job it's quite useful if you don't have a lav mic and you just want to kind of clip this on and get some audio from a distance however if you want to get higher quality audio i would suggest you get a lav mic i forgot to mention but it also comes with a little muffler here that you just clip onto this so that you can have good sound quality when you're outside pretty great battery life battery life on the wireless go system is exceptional to say the least when i was in tokyo i recorded two 45 minute interviews with about an hour of just standby time and when i came back from the hotel i had more than half the battery left so really there wasn't any point in charging but i charged it anyway just in case Ro claims that the wireless go system has a battery life of up to seven hours and i actually do believe it because it's very efficient when it comes to its battery life it can also be connected to a power bank or one of those systems that you can use in sony mp battery or a canon battery meaning you can have endless amount of time for recording if you're doing a very long set for example versatility transmitter has a built-in microphone which is incredibly useful if you're in a running gun situation when you don't have a lav mic a fantastic feature to have in here which no other manufacturer has it has a usb-c plugin which makes it future proof as most devices are now going into usb-c it's light you can put this anywhere you can clip it in your top pocket in your back pocket you could clip it on your belt i found it very useful especially when i gave it to talent when i was filming them they could just either hold it put it on the lap put it on the table and it's very inconspicuous which is very good now the thing about it is that you can use any lavalier mic you know if you find out that you can get a much higher quality lav mic you can connect it to this i know with the sony mics i can only use a specific microphone with that i can't use any other mic i know the lav mics that are designed for use with mobile devices don't work with this this clip here doubles as a cold shoe mount when you want to have the receiver connected to your camera you can clip it to the top or if you have a cage you can connect it to one of the cold shoe mounts on the side which means that you don't have to worry about it going anywhere and it also reduces the amount of real estate that is taken up on your camera because with the sony system it's quite a big thing on top of the camera that you're keeping so it kind of shifts the weight especially if you're using it on a gimbal as well it reduces the amount of weight that's on your camera which means that if you have a gimbal that has a very light payload it won't add any more weight to it which is very useful and very versatile cons uh, one of the cons is that you only get one audio stream per device per system so if you're having an interview with two people you can't use the one system to record both interviews if you do want this i think the sennheiser wireless system can do this and it does it very well so maybe pick that up another con is that the mini jack on the transmitter is non-lockable so it can very easily just come off i actually had this issue once the talent kind of looked behind himself to check out what was going on and the microphone kind of just pulled out it might have been because the actual lav is very short and it wasn't very well placed but nonetheless if you're in a situation where you really can't have the mic come off and you have no control then you might want to get a system like the sony because they have locking mini jack so those are my thoughts on the wireless go system to me this is an incredible wireless lavalier mic system it's also very affordable at about 150 uk pounds if you're a run and gun filmmaker like i am you'll be very happy purchasing a set like these i want to thank Royd for actually making these because their previous wireless link system was very bulky and heavy i guess we're in an era now where technology has gotten so good that you can reduce the size of this so that's the end of the video hopefully i see you after christmas my 2020 goal is to publish more videos more consistently if you like this video make sure to leave it a like because it helps us out on the algorithm and subscribe for more content because i'll be doing a whole lot more comment below if you think this review was useful and if you're thinking of picking up the Rode wireless go system hopefully you get one for christmas